Hello Capricorn, I'm Melanie Florence and this is Hot Tea for the Soul. Today I'm doing a sweet hot tea. So this is about self-love. It's about the journey to actually healing yourself and finding a way to love yourself and not be so hard on yourself, right? And that way we can be better with everybody else. And so we'll find that way to tune into a higher vibration. And so we can actually find something that actually is sustaining inside of ourselves, right? So it's sort of about working about what we, where we're at and our healing elements and where that's going for us, how we can apply it to the world and our partnerships, but how we really love ourselves. So if you are Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and if this is your first time being here, thank you for being here. Uh, if you've been here before, thank you very much for your support. It's been an interesting year and an interesting thing making this channel. I, I really enjoy doing the readings. It's sometimes I've got to make sure you're in the right space. So we're getting a continuity in our vibration, Capricorn. All right, so look at this. What have we got? Don't discount your imagination, because Capricorn sometimes do. Don't discount your imagination, for it has great power. Amazing things will unfold for you if you pay attention to your imagination. Respect and honour it just for just being below the, for just below the surface of this seemingly real world. There exists a dreamlike world full of imagination. What you imagine is not fiction. Be very confident. It can be the beginning of a wonderful new creation. Ooh, well, tap into your imagination. You can imagine your whole world. All right, Capricorn, we can. We can ma imagine our whole world, right? And who we want to be and who we want to be in it. Live your fantasy. It's so hippie. Use your imagination. All right, so it's time to touch into something a bit more creative for the Capricorns this month with our self-love. What else have we got? Let's see what we're going on. I pulled out a couple of witchy decks because we are in the Oh Hallowed month. Freedom! Let yourself out of the cage. Look at that, letting ourselves outside of the cage. We're getting ourselves some freedom inside of there. We can bind ourselves and not even realize that we bind ourselves with our thoughts. This is freeing yourself, freeing yourself in the world, maybe freeing yourself to be imaginative and be creative. Let yourself out there and enjoy it. You know that they say Capricorns are a fine wine, right? We get younger as we get older. Right? We start off pretty serious and then no, out, right? So, what else have we got? From the Green Witch article. So, just throwing in some witchy cards. What have we got from the garden for the Capricorns? Something nice and juicy. Ooh. Gratitude. Respect. Gratitude. It's pink rose, which is always loving, right? And this is air. Air above the horizon. Yes, air above the horizon line. So. We really sit, or is it fire? Air, yeah, it's air. Right, so. Uh, okay, it's always a learning curve, still in for me. Look at our little symbols in here. We've got our air, fire, water, earth. I'm fairly sure. No, I always run those around. Oh, what have we got? Healing as well. So we're going to put that in with your group. So we've got geranium. Lovely pink, nice pink sort of healing energies in there. We're healing ourselves, and we've got gratitude. And it really is a state of gratitude. You know, I really respect the abundance. Every leaf on the tree is an abundance. If you can't see the abundance around you, look at the leaf on the tree. Look at the fruit on the tree around you. Look at the bricks in your house. Every one of those is a dollar. Look at the things around you, the abundance you have. Be grateful for that. Be grateful for your running water, your electricity. Be grateful for your friends and family. Be great. Gratitude is a wonderful thing. And the beauty and the abundance of the universe. And the universe does provide, right? doesn't always give you what you want. does give you what you need. It's time to heal yourself. It's really invest in that. Invest in your heart center. Invest in your love center as your strength. So, we might draw some cards after, but let's get into this. All right. Thank you for still being here. If you are here, Capricorn. So, one. All right. So, Wheel of Fortune. This has turned a lot up since I started this. I started this channel uh, in, uh, in the July, June, July of uh 2020 so last year and so i've seen this card a lot the wheel is turning what we hold on to what we let go what we what we what our dreams are our sun and our moon how we activate how we protect ourselves what are this wheel of fortune lady luck is on your side the wheel is turning things are in motion right so things and keep moving they never stop moving inside of all of this Let's see if i've got enough space okay 
the Wheel of Fortune, Capricorn. Gotta watch the camera angle, it's only new. Tried to get the whole table in a bit better. So, oh, oh ah, you're sort of sitting on my shoulder like a parrot, actually. On my left shoulder. What else have we got? So, this and this. Ooh, chariot energy. It's candy cancer energy. This is um, really taking aims, taking stock of what everything you have. This is potential energy. You've got all the skills. You've got everything. This is taking on the world. You've got companions. You've got people you know. You've got your eye on the target. This is taking on the world. So as this world's changed, you are really taking it on, right? This is the space that you've been coming from. Really drawing your energy in, drawing on your skills. Really, you've let go of things for this change to happen. All right, and there's new things to pick up. You've given yourself a freedom inside of this. And you've got gratitude for where you're at, right? Healing energy. Time to be creative. What have we got here? Oh, strength of heart, strength of passion, Leo sort of energy. But there is an air sign energy inside of this card. Oh, got to make sure I get the camera angle right. Sorry. Um, bear with me. We'll get it all. This is a work in progress. And this here is the strength of your heart. It's the strength of your morals. It's the strength of the being. It's standing by everything that you believe in, right? The strength on your side, inside of this, the strength of your being. Ooh. Let's give it another two. Two cards. Two cards for Capricorn. For this hallowed season, self-love. I do do a partnership reading called the Hot Hot Tea, and I do do an elemental check-in when we check in with all parts of our being. I'm going to get more regular again. Had a lockdown. Getting creative. There it is. Got an idea. There's a seed. There's a, there's a, you got your roots inside of here. This is really making things happen. You have taken on the challenge before this to come into this spot. All right, so this is using your creativity and the strength of your being and taking it on and your passion and letting go of things from the past so that you can, Lady Luck can come into your life and move forward. You freed yourself up. All right, Capricorn, it's time to invest in your creativity. It's come up twice. Your imagination, imagine your life. Imagine your life. Imagine your life in 10 years. What's your resume? What is it? What have you done? Where have you been? Who did you hang out with? What sort of things did you involve yourself in? Get creative about it. Make decisions based. You don't have to know the outcome, right? To actually take an action. Sometimes you need to trust it. Sometimes you need to put something in action before you see it come out. But you've made decisions of faith. And you're basing that on faith. You're basing it on your intuition, right? And so we've got our hands extended in there with our choices inside of there. All right, little Smurfy. There's a present inside of there for everybody, right? So, this is how we got here, and this is good. How, where's the healing elements? What are, what's the healing elements? Where, where do we need to heal? What do we need to work? Oh, with a lover. This is a yes or a no. They make a choice with a lover. You are the lover. You could be in a partnership and still get back into your lover. You could be need to be imaginative in your partnership. The world's changed, like, and maybe this is, like, a lover is coming in. This is a healing element. If you don't have one, maybe this is a, a reinventing your partnership that you already have. All right? But there's a yes in here. You make a choice to be the lover. There's a balance of your yin-yang to balance out the masculine and your feminine for you to be the lover. All right? But you're approaching this with a new heart for that healing yourself. And that gratitude and that love and that gratitude. That pink and that pink sitting there. All right. There's a couple of more for the healing element for Capricorn. All right. We've got more for Capricorn. What have we got? Oh, Woodpecker. Somebody's going to communicate with you. This is talking. This is chatter. This is gossip. This is this is this is chatter. This is an air element child, maybe. Um, but this and where this can be a Gemini. This is an air element child. This is definitely um, chatter and banter. And there'll be talk. We talk. Maybe you're talking about being a lover. Maybe you're talking about love. Maybe you're talking about how you feel your heart and your gratitude and your gratitude and the love and the abundance around you. You freed yourself. All right? Maybe it's talking about that. Talking about love. Maybe talking about love heals your heart. Letting it out. Talking with the lover, perhaps. Maybe. But there's communication and there's love. All right. So, a lot of communication. A lot of communication. This is an air element queen, but this is you communicating your heart. All right, I have a Gemini moon, so this sort of balances out with me as a Capricorn personally, right? But this is an air element. This might be somebody that you're involved with, but this is actually communicating your truth in a very loving sort of way. She can be cold. She can be calculating. She can be a lot of all different things. She's a very intelligent woman. All right? She's very intelligent, but this is communicating your intelligence and your heart, heart and communicating it, being able to actually, at your best, 
very much communicating your heart inside of here. And there's a strength and the strength of your heart in here. Capricorn, I'm really loving this. All right. What else have we got for feeling? Oh, happiness. Your cup runs over, and this is about gratitude. This is about understanding that that your cup is full, and every and everybody feels. And we got the partnership down in here. There's genuine happiness involved in this. Is going to be your healing element. It's time to be happy about your life, and talk about it, and tell people it's okay to be okay. We've gone through some really tenuous time. It's time to celebrate that. It's time to be okay. It's time to celebrate your love and communicate it, and talk to people about it. And if you haven't been talking about it, tell people it's all right to still love your husband. It's all right to still love your life. All right, get creative about it. Imagine that. This is how we're applying ourselves to the world. Okay. This is how it's coming out into the world. And this is, this king is not just slow and said he wins the pace. He's already got there. And it's a Gemini energy. Again, can be a Gemini or earth sign energy. This is really slow and steady, but it's also like life is meant to be enjoyed. He's in the position to enjoy it. He is stable. He is strong. He is being able to work long and hard to be who he is, right? And so there's a stability and there's a strength inside of this still talking still talking still communicating we do have now got a few couple of court players on the card here so this is perhaps a relationship sitting here but this is what we're seeing in fruition this is what we're seeing in the real world right this is the energy is in the 3d so it might be that you are dealing with another earth sign it might be well do you see that flip it might be that you're dealing with another earth sign it might be that you are this is you right might be you really loving your stability really loving your life You've taken a turn to love your life, love your life, right? And we're able to talk about that in strength, that we love our life. This is very strong. And we're still, this is fun, very spirited. This is like still being inspired. This is still enjoying fireworks, right? This could be another child in here. We now have a few players in the house in... But this is a um, page energy. So something spirited, you might be getting intuition. There's double the intuition, right? There's double the insight and intuition, both this and the page of water. All right, but we're literally like ferreting around. There's a bit of fun. This feels like fun. This life is meant to be enjoyed and I'm going to just go out and enjoy it, right? Spirited could be dancing involved. Feels like they could be in dancing involved. All right, Capricorn. Oh, what have we got on this side? Oh, blasted oak. Blasted oak. This is breakaway energy. So what other people are seeing and how you're applying yourself in the world is it's solid and it's old faith, but you have broken away from the bullshit. Okay? This is breaking away from what no longer serves you. This is breaking away to have a good time. This is freedom energy. This is lightning energy. And it has happened swift and it's fast. And it's related to your happiness and your healing and your freedom, right? Your freedom of mind, your freedom. This is really strong energy. It blasts away anybody that no longer needs to be around you. It's not meant to be around you as well. All right, but there's blasting change in here that's going to happen. It's still going to make you happy. It's sitting on your happiness. It's all related to the healing element of your happy. And you're communicating yourself. All right? Communicating your heart. Something's going to change. Big time. Big time. Use your imagination. Make your decisions on faith. Right? Partnerships. Because we've got the lover on the table. What's going to come out in partnerships? Oh, injustice. So maybe this is what people see of you, is that there has been an injustice. There's things that you didn't know. This is, is things that you don't know. This is the bow is broken on the, on the floor and you're blindfolded and the scales are tipped and there's not a balance inside of here. So maybe this is what people see, is that things have been unfair maybe for you. They don't like to say unfair, but things have been unfair. Like, and so that's what people see, is that there's been a balance, that perhaps an injustice was served against you that you've had to battle against. Or that you've done something, but let's, an injustice. And you're still dreaming. You're in a fertile space. All right, this moon, after the, after the moon comes the sun. All right, so inside of this energy, Capricorn, we're really talking about, like, something that is really fertile. You've broken away from a lot of bullshit. This could be a breakaway energy, breakup energy. This is a tower. But this is also very phallic, sort of, really energy, like, energized sort of stuff. But there's a dreamy state to this. So what this injustice or whatever this is, it's created a dreamy state about you. You know, something fertile, something organic, something loving, something that's sitting in this incandescent silver light. It's not black, it's not white. Sometimes they talk about the two dogs you're feeding and this we're talking about, the soul that you're feeding, and that's yours. 
uh, this soul sitting in this really fertile space. So maybe this injustice has made you look like a dreamer. Maybe it looks like, you know, this injustice and this is how your partnerships have run. It makes you look like a dreamer that's still in a fertile space. All right, so something has happened. People are aware that of that in your energy. And this isn't this line in here. Let's see what the outcome. What is the self-love? You'll know if this is you. You'll know where these energies are. You'll know where this is sitting for you. All right, so let's get to the self-love card. What is it that you really need to oh, communicate yourself? And we've got the king to the queen on the table. Communicate yourself. This could be the communication has gone cold. This could be that there has an injustice inside of here. There's been a break inside of this fertile period and there's been a break inside of these emotions. Maybe they're inside of here. Somebody's emotionally pulled back from you, perhaps, inside of here. But there's communications coming. And we know that. The lover, the communications, you're going to communicate. There's a balance in your communication with this king and this queen sitting here. And so this ten of cups is, is to bring you happiness. You're going to talk about it and keep talking. Don't stop talking. Uh, there is a, a propensity maybe to clam up, but justice is done. If there was an injustice, if king gets in, gets justice through, it logics it through. And there is a balance of kings and queens on the table in here. All right, so maybe this, there's still a match in sitting in here. There's conversations to be had, whatever is going in here. I would get creative about it. We've been told that you need to use your imagination in here. You've made decisions that have been making you happy. All right, and you're still inspired, and you're still inspired to break away from bullshit and old beliefs that no longer serve you. All right, whatever this injustice is that is in your partnerships, like something blindfolded, something went ray, communication went astray perhaps inside of there. But we're really looking at the moon. Moon. So there's emotions inside of this, maybe confused emotions inside of this that really need to be talked about, talked out. This can be somebody in your life. This is you also taking on this position and really talking through this in your strength. We stay in your strength inside of this line in here. So I'm going to draw us another couple of cards from the elemental deck over here just to round it up and see what we've got, Capricorn. Thanks for still being here. You're dedicated and this card reading is probably for you. And that one person watches it the whole way through. All right. I'm going to put that one to the side and we're going to take these other two. It was actually, I'm going to pull it back up. Connect to your animals. Take your dog for a walk. Capricorn, I know more Capricorns who care about animals than what they care about human beings. So I know that we are earthy and connected, but really take time. Might be time for you to get out in nature and actually like reconnect to it and reconnect to causes that are really meaningful to you. You've got new beginnings and we know that. All right, so that's just reconfirming this. All right, there is in talking about the East, so it might be Eastern philosophy that you might want to have a look in that might be helpful for you. We're also taking some solidarity or solidity solidity so we're talking about your inner core we've got the freedom there again it's freeing yourself up being imaginative it doesn't have to be you know to be solid doesn't mean to have to be rigid right it's opening yourself up to communications there's communications and jobs all over this so we've got a lot of communication going on and maybe some inner some eastern philosophy might help all right but of some feng shui might help your energies around your house really take some time to connect to everything in your nature and your nature element in there. You are free, Capricorn. Have some gratitude. I'm grateful that you have been here and I hope that this has been a healing thing. And we are free to live our fantasy. Be your hippie. Really imagine your life. All right? Talk about it. Talk about it loud and proud. People have, may think this, but that's not your reality. I love you guts. Thank you very much for being here. I hope that you are safe and well wherever you are. I will catch you later. Mahalo.